Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back. So it's right around that time tomorrow on the 1st of November is when Apex Season 15 drops. And then today we also have the Battle Pass Eclipse trailer that also drops. So we're going to be watching that, reacting to that and kind of breaking it down. I like watching these trailers because it gives us, you know, a taste as to what we're going to get over the next couple of months regarding cosmetic items. But more importantly, we got the new map Broken Moon coming out. So I'm hoping we get a couple of sneak peeks or like extra, you know, looks we haven't seen before regarding the new map. So we're going to get right into this. Let's do this. All right. As dawn breaks over a new moon. I'm here for all the witches. Hex the competition with the I'm so excited for Catalyst, bro. Pass. Her abilities are gonna be nuts, like straight up. Man the battlefield with Imperial assailant. Ash with the legendary, okay. Keep your friends close. And your enemies under your blade. That's actually a cool skin. Revy's skin looks good too. I actually thought this was like an all black skin, but it kind of has like a tealish tinge to it. Embrace the darkness with the Can we get a legendary Havoc? Havoc. And That's pretty cool. The cosmos with the laser eviscerator and cosmic cannon charge rifles. Okay, so this is what I was interested to see, the, the charge rifle, but how is it going to be reactive? Well, you can guess the rest. Enhance your favorite legends enchanted looks with matching oh. weapons, hollow sprays, and emotes. I'll that was a pretty sick rev emote. I, I uh statement as you enter the ring with new skydive emotes. <laughs> well then, let's see you work your magic. The little goop everywhere. Squad up, dive That's kinda clean. Bewitch your enemies with the eclipse battle pass. Wow, bro, that thing is That was a good look at how long it was. That was pretty good, man. I, there, there's a lot in there. I, I gotta say, I really like that they, uh, you know, released this season right as Halloween finished, like right around Halloween. It's the day after Halloween because we got the Goth season. You know, we got. I feel like we got a bunch of semi-Halloween themed um, skins. I like Revenants is pretty Halloween themed. The Havoc, the Obsidian one, it looks pretty Halloweenish as well. I kind of want to go back and look at her abilities here because when she threw up that wall, that thing was absolutely ginormous. First off though, actually, let's let's touch on the skydive emote because that was honestly pretty cool when she starts like sliming it around. Like she's gonna have some really cool skydive emotes. A lot of like, like they were saying, a lot of her uh, abilities and all the animations with her are some of the most VFX um, intensive in the whole game. So she's, I mean, it's fluid. It's like water. You know what I mean? It's, it's tough to pull that off in video games. And this right here was in, this was insane. Look how long the wall is. I mean, we're going to go back one more time to see like where she's casting that from right around here. You can kind of gauge the distance from how far she is to that bridge, right? Where the building starts and look at it cast up. Like you're, <laughs> you, you can literally divide battlefields with this ultimate ability. It, it is on the scale of Vipers from Valorant. It is absolutely ginormous, bro. I think this is going to be not. And then like, obviously it, it blinds you and uh, slows you as you walk through it, which is going to be crazy. It's going to be pretty cool as well. If you can catch people in it um, while, while they're in narrow spaces, like I'm picturing in Kings Canyon, if you're running through buildings in Skulltown and stuff like that, uh, if they're in a narrow hallway and you just throw it up through the middle, they have no choice but to eventually, you know, bump into it or hit it. And if they bump into it, they're going to get blinded. So other than that, though, we didn't get too much more uh, regarding the map. I feel like we saw a lot of the POIs in the other trailers. And then they also dropped an entire news article showcasing every POI. But in terms of the cosmetics themselves, we got this Ash legendary skin. Uh, it's really nice. Ash doesn't have a lot of legendary skins. To be honest, a lot of the newer legends don't even have skins. Then we also got this alternator. Uh, once again, these are like, uh, I want to say blue tier skin. I don't know if they're blue tier skins or purple tier skins. I think they're blue. Um, but I mean, if you don't have a good legendary alternator skin, you'll probably end up using this. But they, these aren't skins you generally, you know, use in the long term. Or they're not skins you people find favorites. They kind of got these random designs to them. Then we got the Revenant skin in the corner there which we got a way better look at later on. This was the close up of Ash that I thought was really cool though. Oh, she got the mask on there. It, it, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a masquerade type. 
a sorceress type vibe. She almost looks like she's going to a, a, a gala or something. It, that's the the feel it gives off at least and then right here we got the revenant skin this one is cold like, like i said in the other trailers i thought it was black and white but now they've made it kind of like teal and bluish i think black and white could have been a little bit more you know jack like jack skeleton type vibes i think that could have been nice but i mean i'll take the teal it's a really nice skin i like the hat matched with him we get this havoc skin here uh, it's called obsidian it kind of looks like it's a little bit on the clunkier side um if we're judging strictly aesthetically i think it's like you know, it's pretty good looking skin. I'd probably give it like a seven or eight out of ten for me. But with, with the iron sights, if it's going to be pay to win or not, they try to get away from those. But it's always going to be a little, little bit of a factor. I don't think it's going to do anything special. And then, of course, here we get the reactive charge rifle skin. Uh, it's pretty good looking. There seems to be a purple tier variant of it. And then there's the blue tier variant of it that they're using right here um the reactiveness seems to be in the back of it the, the charge rifle's always been kind of a, a crazier skin because it, it moves whenever you shoot it and it has the little fingers on the side that kind of flail up but i think it's the back portion here it starts to glow it kind of has like some tubes and uh, some energy workings in the middle here um i like it i kind of like the blue one better than the purple one we got if we go back here we could see the purple right here i think it is when she drops it yeah so we got purple and orange and then kind of like a, a straight up blued out charge rifle. The Revenant Sky, uh, not Sky, just the Revenant emote there goes pretty crazy. In terms of Loba skin, she does get a, I think it's a epic tier skin. It has some moving parts to it. Loba's another character who's been out since season five and she's honestly, she hasn't really gotten a whole lot of skin since like considering how long she's been out for. So nice to see she gets a little something. We also got the Catalyst skin here. This is a definitely a purple tier. Um, you know, got some blues and violets, and I think it has some moving parts to it. Not 100% sure. I think Seer's getting one too with a skull on his mask. This kind of looks like one of the Twitch Primes he got a little while ago, which was all green uh, with the skeleton face paint. And then, I, I mean, Gibraltar's, it just has a couple of skulls. It kind of looks like a default skin though, low key. But yeah, other than that, um, we got a couple of look at some of Catalyst emotes, which we've seen in the other trailers though. She got the smiley face one here, and that's pretty much all it showed. Um, I can't even lie, it's a little bit underwhelming of a battle pass. I think there's like two two good legend skins which is revenant and ash and then we got the havoc weapon skin but other than that uh you know if you don't care for those skins then maybe this won't be the battle pass for you i personally wouldn't scoop it if i didn't make content on it just because there's not skins for people or characters i like i'll probably just scoop it strictly for the catalyst skin i think she's a character i'm gonna play a lot so it'd be nice to have all her skins but yeah that's pretty much it bro let me know what you guys think of the battle pass down in the comments um i'm interested to see what your hype levels are for season 15 are you guys excited rate it on a scale of one to ten down low uh, i'm really interested to see how you guys are feeling but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the launch of season 15 we'll be streaming all day on twitch as well and uh, there'll be videos up on the channel so if you guys don't want to miss that subscribe turn on notifications uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day keep up stay up peace out